they're combining. Pulleys over there, around Berwick, and I'm over here, square Berlin. It's nice to get something done because we've had a few days where we've done very, very little. A bit of land work, so we haven't been sort of sat around doing that. But, uh, yeah, it's been very, very steady for a day to army swag, so. first started here two, yeah, two hours ago, straw on right, the bills fell well, not too heavy, it just felt clump. Anyway, the uh, sun's come out and it's just all, all of a sudden altered. There's more dust coming out of the bill, there's more dust coming out of the combine, and it's the right coloured dust. You know? When I first saw it, I thought, oh no, got disease in there, but no, it's just the right coloured dust. Disease dust and then a dry pink corn dust. That's dry pink corn dust. If you know, you know. Ollie, uh, Ollie combined this and uh, he made a good job actually. He's all over the spot like one. Yeah, he wanted, he wanted to go, so we gave him a go yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, he did uh, a trailer load. I want him to do what, uh, some more wheat over there. I want him to have a go. If someone has to drive it, you know, like Phil was away, so, but, uh, but no, mate, his mum says uh, he was real giddy when he went to, he was real pleased with himself. So, yeah, you have to let him have a go, don't you? Can't win them all. Got a crop of black grass and well done stuff. Disastrous. <laughs> Have a look right from the uh, building. Uh, to be fair, we didn't do no seedling preparation. Uh, it's not the answer on this land, it was grabbing up and went some bloody water through it. You know, so yeah, low carbon farming and all that, but it didn't work on this land. Anyway, if you don't try, you don't know, do you? Just finishing off this bit of uh, wheat in front of my house. It's half siskin, which is a new variety one we got recommended last year, and half revelation. And the bloody revelation's twice the uh, well, not the twice the crop. There won't be that much yield difference. Half a ton, maybe. Yeah, good half a ton, but. This, the grain quality on the siskin's crap. There's loads of it, but real small. And, uh, the revelation's real bold stuff, so I don't know. The older varieties just suit our land. I mean, we grow like revelation. Everybody says it's had its day. In fact, we struggle to get some new seed this time. And uh, winter barley, cassia. I mean, oh, it doesn't stand up. It lays down. I was just alright. Yields massively above anything else we've tried. Oh, infinity's been a good one and all. But they're quite old varieties, you see. So. But anyway, you grow what suits your land, I suppose. And put you there a minute while I get you up to Oh dear! I'm ready for night, to be honest. and all and we've looked at all bars and everything and we've we've looked as far as in it we've come there's no 
now bent or oh, I mean we are not now up it. I mean Christ I'd hold my hands up if we'd had a a big stone up it or out. We haven't. That's the annoying part of it. Well it's a, it's not very nice to drive. Well there it is. That's great. Crack on Phil. Hello. Anybody know what this crop is? It's just some wild flower seed my wife got, chucked it here. But that used to be commercially grown around here. Uh, it's called borage. I think it was something to do with, used in uh, medicine, something to do with capsules. Maybe the skin on capsule, capsules. I might be wrong. But uh, I'm definitely used in medicine, so. But yeah. Nicky's been gardening, look. Ooh, everything's starting to die back now. She likes her gardening. I think I might have a beer. Morning. Sunday morning. Up, out and about fairly early. Rammed up in a few stubbles. Uh, actually, there's a little bit too much dew on. There's been a hell of a dew overnight, so... What harvesting we get done today, I don't know, because uh, everything's wet through. I think it's going to be a steady day now. Uh, but yeah, just round up in a few stubbles off before it gets windy. But as I say, there's a bit too much dew on the I think my theory is the dew will dry on the crop with the will the, with the glass. Uh, it's not going to it's not going to run off. So hopefully, uh, and why I want to do it. Fast as, as soon as possible, as these are offering with rip, and the time's ticking for rip really. It ought to have been in a week, and uh, you know, there'll be a lot of bloody rip crops uh, in full, you know, green over, you know. And what will them, what, what's been drilled in early August, there'll be um, real flush crops you would up anyway. Quick weather they've had because they've had quite a growing season. It's only just come out, but there is evidence that they are there. You know, a little slight hole in that leaf look. Um, oh yeah, there look. Just need to keep our eye on it daily. You know, we'll uh, we'll monitor this every day. If it gets any worse, we've got the chemical in the shed. I'll just give it a blitz um, to try and nobble them. But it's actually it's coming well. There isn't that much evidence, so they aren't really they aren't hammering it bad. So, but as I say, you can't neglect these crops because uh, yeah, if you get busy doing stuff for three days and then come back and then they've had it, you know, because it can happen as quick as that with flea beetle. You know, if, if you get infested with them, I mean, at this stage, these plants are so tiny, 
uh, they can mow it off within uh, days like so our agronomist only lives down the road so and uh, he pops in so there's three of us monitoring it so we can't sort of get it wrong but we haven't drilled much rape yet i mean we've uh, got 45 rape to put in this is the only bit we've got in this tiny little bit you know just landed wrong this town we're following spring barley which has been late and we struggled to get the straw and uh, time's ticking really it wants to be in we're nearly in september aren't we um so but but anyway it is what it is i'm afraid as long as it keeps mild and moist you don't want to keep dry too dry uh, but there's plenty of moisture in the soil at the moment there will be no there's no worry about that so filter power in some land today and i think i might drill it if it's i'm off to have a look now I'll probably be that on my job list tomorrow morning it's uh, second thursday the second of september drilled another flat couple of flats of rape yesterday i'm just rolling them now it's only um, six i want to get home before uh, still got a bit of combining to do uh, some oats we did some oats yesterday not brilliant actually but as we get deeper into our harvest the worse it gets spring barley and oats haven't done very well at all um, but uh, yeah now this drilling most of it actually has gone fairly well but there is some knotty parts over there and uh, uh, I don't know you could have, they were like baked clots you could have stirred them around again with power but I don't think you could have done nothing but it's all right you could just do with half inch of rain really that's the only thing what would mellow that down uh, the first fields of rain are coming out there's a little bit of flea beetle damage not bad at all so quite happy with uh, in that respect what i'm doing now i'm marking out with 24 meters uh, so i know where to spray so every third rolling breed i look for my wheelies and uh, that's with 24 meters because they're eight meter eight meter rolls so, so so it works out pretty good you have to be fairly exact when you're filling in though. Yeah, a couple of red kites flying about earlier on. They've just got themselves off their perch. They live in these woods here. There's loads of them. Well, that's our little grass on that corner. And when we cut that grass, bloody hell, there'll be a dozen. They just come out of them woods. Um, we're at a little village called Numburnum. It's a, it's a lovely little place. It's one of them. I don't know, where's my man? It's one of them unspoiled places you know uh, it's a beautiful little village kids play in street you know kids play football it's uh, it's so quiet and you can't help no one can go faster you know because it's just one of them places it's just like a little meandering village and uh, yeah lovely little spot Jumpy. Fingers is uh, featuring the Kiwi look today. It looks like a New, New Zealander, doesn't it? It's not real happy. We're bagging these, they're, they're ex-tatey bags, just as a bit of calm walling. We're running out of space fast. 